Hi everyone, Matthias here and welcome back to the SG Karma YouTube channel. Today I am at Volkswagen Centre Singapore for the sneak preview behind the curtain of a very special new model. Now, this is a model that, despite having been around for only two generations thus far, has already sold more than 7.6 million units worldwide. So it's a very important model to the brand and also very important to the brand in Singapore. And that is none other than the Volkswagen Tiguan. Now, as mentioned earlier, what I'm standing right next to is the all-new third-generation Volkswagen Tiguan. This new Tiguan has grown in some ways, it's gotten downsized in others. We'll talk about all that very soon, but first, let's start with styling. It's not hard to distinguish this new car from the second-generation model. Specifically, Volkswagen says that it has given the Tiguan a more powerful front end, with the car's headlights positioned higher than before. Now, of course, one of the highlights of the new Tiguan is that it now comes with these IQ Light HD Matrix headlights, which we first saw on the Touareg, they've come down now to the Tiguan, and these contain more than 19,000 LEDs each, which help to illuminate the road and give more comfort and more safety to drivers. As is the trend nowadays, the Tiguan also gets a very slim and very nice LED light bar at the front to crown its face. And if you follow me to the side, you'll realize that the car has curved and smoother lines than before. Volkswagen says that it's reduced the drag coefficient of this car from 0.33, which was in the second generation car, to 0.28 CD now in this new Tiguan, which means that it should be able to cut to the air more smoothly. And if you follow me to the side, you realize that the car has grown by 30 millimeters in length, although its wheelbase has remained the same. Now, of course, on the rear, we get a very, very cool and very modern looking tail light bar, as is the trend nowadays. Open up the boot and you get an absolutely cavernous space. This has now grown to 652 litres or 37 litres more than before. You get this very nice square shape and a, quite a low load lip so it's easy to load items in. And of course if you want to expand the space you can do that as well by folding the seats down which is activated just as such. Quick commercial break before we continue. Volkswagen has kind of been a bit playful with this new Tiguan and put the image of a tiger on the left side of the rear window and the image of an iguana on the right side of the rear window. If you know what the Tiguan name means, you should know what these Easter eggs are. I'll leave it as that. Now, despite the increased dimensions on the outside, the car's interior hasn't changed that much. We still have a 2680mm wheelbase, which means that you still get lots of space. As you can see, I have a good amount of legroom and a good amount of headroom too, despite this panoramic sunroof. If you only have two in the back, you can have this central armrest and it pulls out to see these very nice cup holders. Let's put it back. Um, despite the central transmission tunnel, I would say sitting in the centre is still pretty good. I still have a good amount of headroom. And of course, this car has tri-zone air conditioning, which ensures that regardless of how hot the weather is, you can still stay chilly back here. I think up front, however, is where the changes will be the most apparent with this completely redesigned dashboard. We get lots of screens, as you would expect on a modern car. But with this new steering wheel, you realise that these are all physical buttons, which is... Oh. Which is, which is a great thing to have. <laughs> Thank you Volkswagen for hearing us. There is a 10.25 inch virtual cockpit digital driver's display, which has quite a different look from its, the one on the Otiguan. Also new is this 15 inch freestanding infotainment screen, which marks the first of its kind that we've seen on a Volkswagen ICE model in Singapore actually. It runs Volkswagen's MIB4 system. So you have tiles that look and feel different than before. You have new colors, new graphics, everything looks very modern. But what I want to point out that is perhaps a bit special and perhaps um, not so common on modern cars today is the fact that we have this rotary selector here with its own OLED display. On first glance, you're like thinking, okay, great, we can use this to control volume. But if I press it down like that, you'll see that I can also control the driving modes here. Eco, comfort, sport, custom for your own preferences. And if I swipe to the right, we also get what Volkswagen is calling atmospheres, which change the interior look and feel of the car. So I'm going to swipe through Joy, Energetic, Minimal, and again, you have your own custom profile. You're probably thinking by now, if the rotary selector is here in this center console now, then where has the gear lever gone to? Well, the answer is right here, on the right side of the steering wheel. And this is actually something that we've seen on Volkswagen's ID all electric model so far, and it's something that we can expect from the brand as it moves forward to make its cars feel more modern, more sophisticated. As someone that has used this system on other EVs before, I would say, 
adjusting to it is actually not as difficult as you might imagine. I swivel it forward for drive, I swivel it backwards for reverse, so getting used to it should be quite an intuitive process. Now, the new Tiguan is built on the MQB EVO platform, and this is a platform that we've seen used on the Mark 8 Golf as well as the Octavia. And one of the benefits that this platform brings about is that it's allowed for a mild hybrid drivetrain. So what we get now is a 1.5-litre turbocharged engine under the hood that's mated to an integrated starter generator. It's a 48-volt mild hybrid system. And with the power output that this engine puts out now, which is 129 brake horsepower, this means that the Tiguan is eligible for the first time ever with a Category A COE in Singapore. You might be thinking that this engine is completely similar to that on the current Golf, but there is a difference. It produces more torque, or 220 Newton meters if you're being specific. 0 to 100 takes a claimed 10.6 seconds, but then again, the Tiguan isn't supposed to be a performance SUV. Instead, the upside of this powertrain is efficiency with one standout quality being its active cylinder management technology. Also, this qualifies the car for the revised VES B-Bending. So, there you have it guys. That was a very quick look at the all-new Volkswagen Tiguan. Now, the Tiguan will be sold in two trims in Singapore, the Life and Life Plus, but honestly, on the Life, you're already getting features like your massage and ventilated seats, as well as the full range of screens, the 15-inch infotainment screen and the digital driver's display. So, either way, you're getting a very good car. But I guess, more importantly, what are your thoughts on the new Tiguan? Is this a car that you're excited about? Let us know in the comments. And if you've liked this video, don't forget to like and share it. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on TikTok at SGCarmot. From now on, that's all from us from Box Weekend Centre Singapore. We'll see you in the next video. Bye!